All right, YouTube user Jordan Yu wanted to see the ceiling fan here. It's, it's big, and it, it's white, and it has four light globes on it. They're incandescents. I don't know if the camera will actually show the printing on it once the, it adjusts. I can't read the wattage. 40? There's another one. It's got four light globes and five blades. Oh yeah, you want to see it run. Well, that's a little bit of a problem. That's a wireless box that's been uh, jury-rigged into this, so it could be wireless, because who wants to pull chains? Here's the remote for it. It says Hunter on it. It's got a button for light, another button for light, and then 0123 for off, low, medium, and high for the fan. And it sits all pretty by the front door so you can turn on the light and the fan when you come in and da da da. But it's wireless. And what happens with wireless? The battery goes dead. And the battery went dead. And it's not a double A. No, no, no. This has to use a 12 volt A23. Now I measured that and that reads, uh, oh, about a volt and a half. So I don't know how the hell it was even working, but uh, we don't have that kind here. Now, like I said, this thing is 12 volts and I don't have that. But what I do have is a Harbor Freight multimeter leads and a 9 volt battery. Let's see if we can make this work. You appreciate the hell I'm going through to turn on the fan. So I got the whiff holding the uh, Harbor Freight meter leads on the battery and we're going to probe the sockets. Remember electricity is not a hobby. Have a professional remove your shorts and probe your sockets. So haphazardly holding that, and I'll see if I can hit high. Yeah, there he goes. A little noisy, a little wobbly. I don't even know if this is a Hunter fan for sure. Some of you sharper-eyed viewers might know, but you wanted to see the fan, and here it is. Let's see if I could hit speed two. Something clicked, anyway. Speed one. I guess it's a break before make. And the spin down on this is very, very fast. Now it's off. I'll put it back on high so you get the idea, but you see it is spinning down. There we go. I'll try the light, but I don't know if I have it here. I don't know if I have the right button. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I turned it off and back on. Oh, it's slow to respond. Okay. I don't know what it's doing. It's kind of going off, kind of going on. Put the fan back to off. I've lost my connection. Okay, just got it down to off. Once again, a close up of the motor housing. I, again, I have no idea what kind of fan this is. And it's going to spin down and uh, 
then it'll stop actually that's that's important to know but it does have incandescent bulbs in it and uh, well that kind because we don't believe in that happy horse shit of LEDs and birds shitting on it and things like that that's the fucking clock oh I don't know if you heard that kind, but we'll wait for the fan to stop. And there you go. OFF spells off. I lit the fireplace again, kind. I had heard that the uh, pilot light went out in it and I brought my little tiny air compressor. This guy right here, little Campbell Hausfeld guy, and blew out the jet cleaned it out with a magic tool I have that I keep underneath it and it works now but again that's not what this video is about it was about the ceiling fan it got sidetracked thanks so much for watching make sure you hit like make sure you hit subscribe and don't get a wireless control for your ceiling fan we'll see you next time bye bye oh yeah don't get a bird clock either